Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in. This is going to be for Sagittarius for the end of your June going into July. Uh, you, could, um, you could apply this to any replacements. Uh, this read could be in anything, nothing specific. So we're just going to see what the cards have to say. Apply this to your own unique situation. Okay, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this uh, message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box uh, below. Okay, so Sagittarius, let's get started. Over energies for Sagittarius. What is surrounding Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? What can Sagittarius expect for the end of, uh, Jul uh, end of June going into July? Seven of Cups and the Lovers. Okay, seems like you guys have options here in terms of love. Uh, Scor uh, it's not Scorpio, Sagittarius. Uh, Gemini energy with that Lovers. We have the Page of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And the Star. Seems like you're searching for the one here, Sagittarius. Okay. Uh, some of you guys might be doing some healing work here, too. You guys could be healing your inner child, okay? So, uh, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Star card, uh, Aquarius Energy. We have the High Priestess and the Page of Swords. Seems like you guys are searching for answers here. Yeah. If there's an energy of someone here finding, trying to find themselves here, okay? Uh, you know, like I said, if I feel like some of you guys might be healing your inner child here. Some of you guys are trying to find yourself, trying to find answers here, trying to seek answers. Trying to tune into your higher self here. Trusting your intuition or learning to trust your intuition. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the Page of Swords. Five of Wands and the Six of Cups. Seems like there's conflict with a past individual here that maybe you're trying to let go. That someone here is trying to distract themselves from an ex by exploring new options here. Okay, so uh, these messages are not really meant to be cross-watched, flipped, or reversed. This is more so for Sagittarians that are currently in a path of spiritual growth, healing, personal growth. But if you want to do that, you can feel free to do so, okay? Uh, seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Why is the Seven of Cups here? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. We have the hangman, Piscean energy, the lovers, and the death card. Okay, it seems like they would, there's an ending here regarding the relationship. So someone here is having a hard time letting go of the past. It seems like someone here is trying to heal themselves here. So that this situation that someone here got themselves into, it doesn't happen again. The death card. Could be that there's a situation that you're going through, like major transitions in your relationships, not just romantic. So Piscean energy with that hangman, death card, Scorpio energy, page of wands, seven of wands, the star, the nine of pentacles here. Seems like you guys are coming into your own or coming to yourself or like learning about yourself here. There's definitely some sort of growth and expansion that's happening here for you. Yeah, it seems like you guys are 
in this energy of overcoming some childhood traumas. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy here. Tell me about this High Priestess. We get the Justice card, Page of Swords, and the Wheel of Fortune. Seems like you guys are clearing out some karma here. Yeah, karma that you could have taken on yourself. Karma that could have been passed down to you uh, from family members and ancestors here. There's this energy of the truth is being revealed to you by the universe. And I feel like as the universe reveals this truth to you, you're going to do something about it here. Okay? It seems like you are. You're taking some sort of action here. Okay? So the Wheel of Fortune, uh, Justice, Libra, Energy. What else do we have here for Sagittarius? Outcome and advice here for Sagittarius regarding their uh, situations. What else does Sagittarius need to know for June 2022? Uh, with that Nine of Pentacles, that could be an indication that you guys are reaching uh, financial fulfillment here, you know, or that you guys are uh, achieving, you know, standing on your own two feet, being self-sufficient here, okay? So being on your own, learning to be on your own. We have the hangman again, Piscean energy and the queen of swords. We have the eight of pentacles and temperance. There you are right here, Sagittarius energy. We have the knight of swords and the eight of swords. And the king of swords on the bottom of the deck. We have a true pair here, king to the queen of swords. So there is a relationship that you're trying to release here or let go. You're definitely going through a transitional period, uh, Sagittarius. Okay? Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Eight of Pentacles, and the Temperance card. So I feel like you guys are really working hard on yourself, uh, working on your healing here. Okay? And then we have the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Seems like you're finding your freedom. It seems like you're breaking free of this mental prison that you're in, this physical prison that you're in, this emotional prison that you're in here. Yeah, it seems like you're finding your freedom. Yeah, we have the King of Swords. So we have the King to the Queen of Swords. This is someone that you're trying to let go here, it seems like. Tell me about the hangman. Why is the hangman here? Why is the hangman here? Five of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. There is someone here that is really insecure. This is someone here who fears abandonment. Um, if you're letting someone go, I don't feel, I feel like this person is not going to go down without a fight. I feel like this person will try and convince you to stay. Okay, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Eight of Pentacles, the Moon, Temperance, and the King of Swords. So the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, we got King of Swords right there, and the Moon, Cancer, Pisces. Someone here is doing their shadow work. It could be that you're doing your shadow work, and I feel like it's inspiring this person to do their shadow work here too. Okay? Tell me about this Knight of Swords. We have Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, Eight of Swords, and the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Six of Wands. There's this energy of definitely achieving something here for yourself. There is something be being revealed to you by the universe, and I feel like you're going to take that and empower yourself to make changes in your life. Sagittarius energy with judgment. We have, Sag we have judgment here two times. No. Uh, and the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. So I feel like you're finding out the truth or that you're learning about the truth here or that the truth is being revealed to you slowly by the universe. Okay? 
And like I said, I feel like you're going to take that with you and make some changes in your life. All right, so Saj, hope this was helpful. Hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.